today, San Diego hosts Wine Bowl Spring Fine Wine and Spirits Trade and Tasting event, which I was invited by my friend Mark C. Wine Bowl is a wine and spirits importer and distributor with a portfolio of over 4,000 wines from around the world. They specialize in bringing unique artisanal wines to the U.S. market. I'm on the wine tasting event here in Balboa Park today. I've got invitation from my friend uh, Maxime and you see we are gonna have beautiful four hours here. We have our brioche, uh -huh. like egg. So our house is Chardonnay Dominant. Uh, this is 55% Chardonnay. Uh, Lorraine Perrier is one of the Champagne's most famous houses, founded in 1912 in France. Lorraine Perrier uses only the highest quality grapes from the best wine yards in Champagne. This ensures that their champagnes have a consistently excellent taste and aroma. Laurent Perrier Brut and Laurent Perrier Brut Nature is a little nuance in the taste, okay, which has to do with the aging and the amount of months that have been in this tea. Okay, voila! <laughs> This is 100% Pinot. Okay, the reason you see this color because the skin went on the juice for about four hours. Whereas this one is 100% Chardonnay. Okay, so this is the, the two differences. A sommelier is a highly knowledgeable wine professional who is an expert in every aspect of wine service and food and wine pairing are as varied as they are demanding. There are about, about 200 master sommeliers on this planet, of the 7 billion people. And these people are, in my humble opinion, amazing because they are able to tell you in a few minutes just by looking, smelling, and tasting what the wine exactly is. So they will tell you this is a, a Cabernet Sauvignon coming from Napa Valley, Carneros, 2016, period. And every, they are 99% of the time correct. That's what the message will be. Which level are you, Maxime? I am level two so many. Perfect. Way down at the bottom of the food chain. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> You're welcome. Georgia. One scene in New York, New Jersey. That's why I'm so A classic chair. Outside Juniper, our second main botanical is uh, Biobar, which is a tree that's now for more citrus for it. I could tell also by the bottle. Okay, can you pull this one? This, this is from New York State, to be exact, to the Finger Lakes. Uh, I call it the Napa of the East. I mean, it's a beautiful wine. Yeah. It's a great story. Mm. Have to try it. <laughs> okay. In fact, uh, even the bottle has to have the shape. And this was taken in so that I've been in uh, Alsace, in France, and in Germany, where they make these bottles. See, it says, you see that? Seneca Lake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have two whites. I have a Chardonnay from Argentina. Uh, which one? I have Vingulum, which is an Argentine mm -hmm. Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. And Bob Holly is a Yeah, so it's not just going to taste. Of which one? Both. Why do you want to just say something? She could be rolling her eyes. No, I'm not. Chardonnay from Argentina. Chardonnay from Argentina. 
Not the Battery California. <laughs> All right. Serve for us. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. No, we do that. We do that. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture. So the wines from the Winebow Pioneer Division portfolio, wines of the Southern Hemisphere. In this table in particular, we are in Australia. We are in South Australia. We are in the Barossa. We have Riesling, Chardonnay, Bubbles from Tasmania. Shiraz wines, which you might expect from Australia, and beautiful Cabernet Sauvignons from Western Australia, as well as the Punawara. Which is, which is your favorite one? Really. Five years of aging on this. It's from the Eden Valley, Pusey Vale Vineyards. It's all they do. There's no winery there. It's just vines, hills, and kangaroos. South Australia, we are in the Eden Valley still, and this is Henschke. This is 150 years of family winemaking, and this is their Peggy's Hills Riesling 2022 vintage. This wine is going to be fresher on the palate. It's not going to have as much of that petrol that you had with the Pussy Vale Eden Valley contours on this. But a famous historic producer that is known primarily for their reds, for their Shiraz. So this is a delightful, refreshing change from what you would expect from Henschke. You must try. Did you like what you got? Yeah, this is my favorite wine so far, this reason. <laughs> Uh, we are offering a selection of wines from Schaefer Vineyards in Napa Valley. Uh -huh. Cabernet, yeah. Chardonnay, and then our Syrah. And Bordeaux Blanc. Do you have your favorite one? Oh, well, you, do you have a favorite? You can't pick a favorite one. It's like picking a favorite child. Everyone says that. Oh, uh, that's true. But it would probably be Hillside Select, which is our flagship wine and most iconic wine that we produce. 100% Cabernet Sauvignon from the Stags of Christian. May I have it? You may. Thank you. I need to get a glass. You should get a glass. Are you ready? Are you ready for my favorite? Yes. Hillside Select, 40th anniversary. 1978 was our first vintage from the Hillside Select Estate in the Stags Leap District. 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, aged for over four years prior to release. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy it. You are going to enjoy it. So this is where you guys make, where are you guys? We're located in the Stags Leap District in Napa Valley. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, we've already, we've already met. Oh, wow. That's you and me now. I wish I could pour you some wine. I will try it. Whom you represent and what wine do you have? Ancient Peaks from Paso Robles, California. The Santa Margarita Ranch in Paso Robles. Margarita Vineyard. Everything is all estate and family owned. 
So what you want to have for this afternoon? The one in the decanter. The answer is always the one in the decanter. So that's our Oyster Ridge, 94 points tasting panel. Some more press on the horizon, but that's my pick. All right, should I try it? Yes. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Let's give you a card. If I can get them out. Hi! It's <laughs> the best part about Great. What you are marking there? Uh, just the ones I want to try. What is your favorite this afternoon? Actually, I just walked in. Okay, you so just I marked. I haven't tried anything yet. Okay, I then good luck. Work, so I've been eating them like <laughs> okay. favorite, um, Milam and Green is great for bourbon. Yeah. I'm excited to try the Schaefer's. Hello. Ancient Hello. Peaks, which is right there, is actually a really great brand. I just tried it. It's excellent. Enjoy the afternoon. <laughs> Wine tasting has been around for thousands of years, dating back to ancient civilizations such as the Greeks and Romans. However, the modern wine tasting tradition as we know it today began to emerge in the 14th and 15th centuries in Europe. During this time, wine became a popular beverage among the upper classes and wine tasting was seen as a way to access the quality and characteristics of different wines. It was also during this period that wine began to be classified according to region and vineyard, and the concept of terroir, the influence of soil, climate and other environmental factors on the taste and quality of wine began to emerge. What is your name? Shamba. And you are presenting your wines today? Yes. So, uh, what is your favorite? Uh, my favorite wine uh, as a wife is the Cuvée uh, Champenere. Okay. As the red is a Cuvée Nicola because Nicola is my son. I have it myself. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. I have like a... Yeah, sure. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. 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 Okay, here I call you uh, Cuvée Centenaire. Cuvée Centenaire is a very old vineyard. We call it uh, Centenaire because the vineyard is a century old. It's a blend of Grenache Blanc, Grenache Gris, and Roussanne. And the wine is aged in barrel, in oak. Wow. Taste it. Wow. I should try it. Thank you. Thank you. In the 18th and 19th centuries, wine tasting became more formalized with the development of professional sommeliers and wine experts who could access and grade wines objectively.
today wine tasting is an important part of the wine industry with many wineries and wine regions offering tasting and tours to visitors. Are you going to taste it? Oh yes. <laughs> Very nice. What did you get? It's very good. Excellent. Which one did you get? Oh, the Amici Reserve. So what you are giving me? So this is the Amici 2021 Russian River Pinot. Wow. That's exactly where I should be. Do you like it yourself? Absolutely delicious. Good, and I'm going to try it now. I've got my glass. And the Wine has been traded between countries for thousands of years with evidence of wine being transported along trade roads from as far back as ancient Egypt and Greece. However, the modern wine import export industry as we know it today began to emerge in the 18th and 19th centuries. During this time, advances in transportation such as the invention of steamships and railroads made it easier to transport wine over long distances. This led to an increase in international trade, with wine being exported from countries such as France, Italy and Spain to markets in Europe and the Americas. And then we use a dosage, that is a solera wine. So what, what you are going to give me? So this is a vintage sparkling wine from the Penedas. New appellation, Cortina. And it's a blend of Charillo and Macabeo. 2018 vintage. Excellent. Thank you. My friend, all that this the best he tasted today. Wow. In the 20th century, the wine trade continued to expand with new wine producing regions emerging in countries such as Australia, Chile, and South Africa. The growth of the global wine market also led to an increase in wine importing and exporting with large-scale wine merchants and distributors playing an important role in the industry. Today the wine import-export industry is a multi-billion dollar global market with wines being traded between countries and regions all over the world. The industry is highly regulated with different countries having their own rules and regulations regarding the import and export of wine. Wine tasting and eating are often enjoyed together as complementary experiences. When tasting wine, it's common to have a variety of foods available to enhance the tasting experience and to help cleanse the plate between sips. There are many different types of foods that can be paired with wine and the best pairing will depend on the type of wine being tasted. For example, white wines are often paired with seafood, poultry and light salads, while red wines are 
commonly paired with red meat, pasta and cheese. When tasting wine and eating it's important to follow a few guidelines to get the most out of the experience. First, it's best to taste the wine before eating anything, so that the flavors are not influenced by any lingering taste in the mouth. Then take small sips of the wine and allow it to coat the tongue before swallowing. As you eat, take small bites and chew slowly to fully experience the flavors of the food and how it interacts with the wine. Overall, wine tasting and eating can be a fun and enjoyable experience that allows you to appreciate the complexities of both food and wine. Hey, this is my new friend from San Francisco. Oh, this is my new friend from San Francisco. He likes beer, but he's opening his mind to wine. But he drinks wine. Yes. yes. Yeah. Wow. He loves wine, but he says, Everyone should try everything. You see? Before you judge, try it. Cheers. Ah, cheers. Sure, cheers. <laughs> Uh, this is Randy, the owner of Solari Restaurant, the best Italian restaurant in San Diego. He already agreed that I'm going to visit. Awesome. My which, good friend. Which was your favorite wine today? My favorite wine I've had so far is the Schaefer 1.5 2019. Are you going to buy it for your restaurant? If we will buy the, what we have it, we'll buy more from Napa Bell. Excellent. Thank you. Enjoy. So tell me who you are. Oh, that's a video. I told you to take a selfie. Yes, it will. <laughs> Don't show it to your husband. So what you are doing? I am talking. <laughs> but you are, I understood that you are a consultant. I am a consultant. Yeah. Do you know so why? what I do is I help people with their experiences. Okay. Whether it's at a restaurant mm -hmm. or a trip. Okay. I think people around the world are one country. Hey, Sam! And you visit it with that. Exactly. And you are going to visit it one more time. But only when you tell me where I I am promised you to right, be your guy. One more time about the... Something. Something. No, no, no. About Cheers. this event. Cheers. Oh, okay. Great wines. Good wines, good people. Are you drinking or you are also buying? Of course. We're drinking, we're buying, we're trying we're, to be able to drive. We're happy to be in sunny San, San, San Diego. Alright, yeah. cheers. Keep your ass back there cheers. and for whoever wants to watch. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. One, two, okay. three, four. Yes, yes. I One, guess. two, three, four. Have you ever seen a four dollar bill? A four dollar bill, no? No. We're not going to today. It's a snap. Oh, okay, great. It's a wave. Andre! It came for Andre from dollars. <laughs> Damn! Take the die. Take the die. Choose the number and then cover it. Okay. I'll turn around. Let me know when you're done. Okay, I covered it. I'm, I'm, I covered it. You know, you know what the number is? Yes. Close your eyes. Open. Okay. One. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Come on, this guy. Let him try. Try, try it again. No, oh, he got it. Does he have his phone in his hand? No, I'm trying to find his phone. The meaning why I took a picture. <laughs> you, you know the number? Can you, you bring your glasses up for just a moment? Five. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh you got it. Good. Okay. Cheers! Oh, Smash! Oh wow, he's a good photographer. Uh, are we are we taking a picture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy your day here. I, beautiful sunny San Diego. I did thank you. Yo. Like and subscribe to my channel. Watch my videos and enjoy your life. Your sparkling.